Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to a new video of Triple Grace. My name is Michael, I am the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Past Movement Foundation. And the topic of this video is in our introducing the Kingdom of God series, the fifth part, a returning king. Brothers and sisters, when we introduce the Kingdom of God, we must also explain to the people that Jesus will return physically to the earth. There are still people who say it will be not physical, but only spiritual. That the Millennium Kingdom is not a real kingdom here on earth. And this must be corrected, brothers and sisters. The Lord is coming to return to the world as a King of Kings and Lord of Lords. To bring forth His Millennium Kingdom, to reign and rule for a thousand years. This is all part of the Kingdom, that's the reason why the end times will begin. Because it's all the preparation, the dress rehearsal for that Millennium Kingdom, where the Lord will sit on the throne in the Millennium Temple in Jerusalem. People must understand that the Lord will come quickly and His reward will come with Him. It is all about the return of the King. That's the reason why everything in the end time is about the Kingdom. For kingdom purposes, kingdom work. The harvest is made for the kingdom. You are walking as true ambassadors here on earth because of that kingdom, representing that kingdom. When the people do not understand that it is Jesus who will return physically, manifested here on earth, sitting as a king on the throne in Jerusalem, then they cannot understand the end times. And they cannot understand the kingdom to come. It is an everlasting kingdom that will then be established. And it will never stop, even after the 1000 years when Satan will be released. For a short time, it will not stop and will then continue through the white throne judgment to the new heaven and new earth. An everlasting kingdom will be established here on earth, physically, with Jesus returning. And He is not returning as a lamb, He is returning as a Lion of Judah. So you need to make this a foundation, that it is all about the returning King. It is all about the Lion of Judah to come. It is all about the rest to be poured out on the wicked, and to push out sin out of the world when heaven and earth will merge together. But the most uh, main important part of this kingdom is that millennium setup. When Jesus will come and sit in Jerusalem in the millennium temple on the throne, having established the everlasting kingdom. When the people do not understand this, then they cannot grasp the other concept. Because they will always say, oh, this kingdom of God is far away. But it's not, it has already come. You and me, we are already temples in this kingdom. And we are waiting for Jesus to come. First 40 days, then Mount Zion, with paradise, and then the return of Jesus for the everlasting kingdom, for that millennium time. So when we talk about and introduce the Kingdom of God to the people, we must tell them it is all about the return. A King will come. A mighty, powerful King will come that will rule this earth. Also, the world will still first follow a worldly King, the Antichrist. But that will be destroyed and then the everlasting Kingdom will be set up. So this return of Jesus is a uh, the most important part of introduction of the Kingdom of God. Knowing that the Kingdom will return to the earth and with Jesus also the power and the mercy of the Father for all of His creation, for all of His creation will come down onto the earth. Justice will be restored. Judgment will be poured out. That's all what the book of Revelation is all about. And the, we are now seeing the beginning of the end. We are now seeing this time to come to pass. 
And so how much better is it to talk now to people about it? Say, look, you see the signs. The king is returning. The day will come and this generation will see it, where he will sit on the throne in the Millennium Temple, freshly built, after he has thrown out the imposter from the throne and has reclaimed it for the kingdom of God. Then this kingdom of God will be established here on earth as an everlasting kingdom. So never forget when you introduce the kingdom of God to someone, do it with the understanding that Jesus will return as a King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Thank you for listening to this for this part and we will continue tomorrow with the next part in our introducing the Kingdom of God and how we should do it and how we can apply the best of our knowledge so that the people can understand and understand from where they come and where they will go to and to know that Jesus will come physically to establish the everlasting kingdom. Brothers and sisters, be blessed. Be blessed in the name of the Lord. Be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Maranatha. Behold, I'm coming quickly, and my reward is with me. Revelation 22, verse 12. Amen. Maranatha.